Hi everybody. I wanted to give you the MLA format citation for how to cite a YouTube video. And this is the format that I'm looking for um, at the end of your document. I don't want just you, I don't want you to just link me to a URL. I want you to practice citing a YouTube video in MLA format. So I want to teach you really quickly how to do that. Um, the format is going to look like the bold line that you see here. Um, it won't it won't be bold itself, but I bolded it just to highlight it for you. The very first thing that you're going to put is the username or the name of the person who posted the video to YouTube. So when someone posts a video to YouTube, they usually create a username and that's associated with their YouTube channel. And then every video that they post is underneath their name or their username for their channel. So what is the username? This would help someone if they needed to find the video to ensure that they have exactly the same video that you looked at. Um, after the username, punctuation very much matters. You want to put a period. Then in quotation marks, you will put the title of the YouTube video. And this should be exactly the title that you see. Um, don't make it up for yourself. You know, if it's the Harry Potter trailer, but the title says 2001 official Harry Potter teaser trailer. That's the title that you need um, because again, it's going to help your reader know that they're looking at exactly the same video that you are. Um, after you have the title of the video in quotation marks and there's a period inside the quotation marks as well, then you're going to write YouTube and notice that this is written in italics. Uh, we always write the website where we get um, our information from after the title and that website is written in italics and then you'll write a comma. Then you'll write the date and here the date refers to the date that the video is posted um, and you'll always be able to find all of this information on the YouTube page and I'll show you an example of that in a second. A comma follows the date and then you will put the URL which is what is you know up here in your search bar um, and a period after the URL and then you'll write the date that you accessed um, the video and you will include the word accessed. After that date, you'll put a period. Um, so if we look at a couple of examples here, you'll see that the username or the person or user who posted this video is psych to go The title of the video is The Four Attachment Styles of Love. And then there's YouTube. It was posted on the 9th of July, 2018. It's, it should be, your date should be written just like this. Here's the URL, and this is the date that it was accessed. If you have an actual person's name who posted the video, then you would use their last name, a comma, and then their first name. It's not very often that you come across this format. Usually it's a username, um, but this is an alternative example. So I want to show you uh, a YouTube page just to kind of help you see where you're going to find um, all this information. So here I've pulled up a trailer for Game of Thrones season eight. And the first thing I need to know is who's the user, the username. So right down here, this is where you're going to find that information. There's usually going to be a little circle with a logo and next to it, this is the user. So that's exactly what I would type is capital G game of thrones, capital T. I would, I would type it exactly as I see here with no spaces. And then I would put a period. Um, going back to my format, I know that the next thing I need is the title of the YouTube video. And um, I will probably copy and paste this title and then change it, you know, to Times New Roman size 12 because it has these um, lines that I always get confused how to recreate on my own. Um, but this is exactly what needs to be in quotation marks. So all of this stuff is, is the title. Game of Thrones Season 8 Official Trailer HBO. All of that is the title. Um, then I will type YouTube because yes, I am finding this video on YouTube. Um, the date that it was posted is right below um, the username, so 5 Mar 2019, and I will need to add a period after Mar for March because I'm abbreviating. 
Um, then I need the URL, which I can just copy and paste from up in my search bar. And then I need the date that I accessed it. So first I'm going to write accessed, and then I will type whatever today's date is. So um, 27 mar period 2019, and then I will type a final period at the end. Um, this is how you cite a YouTube video. I think it's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. The biggest thing that I see with students that get points taken off for YouTube videos or any citation really is attention to detail. You have to just be paying attention. What punctuation goes where? What is supposed to be capitalized? What is not? What's supposed to be italicized? What is not? Um, what needs to be abbreviated? What doesn't? So just kind of mimicking the patterns that you see in all the examples that um, I'll give you. So hopefully this helps. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on citing your YouTube video or if you got the video from somewhere else. Let me know that as well and I can show you individually how to cite it.